So wherever you are, whether you're seated upright or laying on your back, use this as an opportunity to arrive here in this moment, here in your practice, in your body and in your breath. This is really the foundation, the fundamentals, the, the real work of our practice. Yoga is about arriving in the present moment over and over again, breath by breath. Which may sound simple in theory, but in practice, it's why we call it a practice, because it's not so easy. It takes focus and concentration. And it shifts as our lives move in and out through the vicissitudes of this experience. Everything that happens to us has an impact on our ability to be fully with the moment. Right here, you might be aware of thoughts and sensations, emotions, all the things that are accompanying you on your journey right now, all the things that are impacting you. None of these things are wrong, though they may be unpleasant or pleasant. The work of yoga is not to ignore, distract, or forget these things, but to find a little bit of space between everything that happens to us, between the thoughts that arise, the emotions that we feel, and the way that we respond. No matter what happens to us, it's important to remember that so much is beyond our control. This world and all of its shifting and turning, it changes and shifts without our trying. And all we really have control over is how we respond, how we move forward with all that's given to us. And so this is a safe place for us to practice cultivating that which we wish to embody here on our mats and out beyond in the world. So I imagine that none of us came here today to strengthen qualities of reactivity or anger Rather, we're working to find those qualities that support us on the path to wellness. Calm and gentleness, compassion and gratitude. Whatever it is that brought you here today, that brings you to your practice, allow yourself to hold that in your heart. filling up with a sense of joy, gratitude, acknowledgement and appreciation for your commitment, the effort that you put in to be here. In these difficult times in our world, in our lives, it's so deeply important to do this work, not only for ourselves, but for all beings. And the doorway into this present moment, to this ability to create space between what happens to us and the way that we respond, starts with awareness of the breath. So begin to Notice the way that the breath is moving through the body. Perhaps noticing that the breath is really a barometer for our experience. 
and how things are impacting us. The breath tells the story of our experience, how we're feeling physically, emotionally, mentally. And so the foundation of this practice is through the lengthening, the deepening, and the steadying of the breath. So if it's possible, you might start to breathe in and out through your nose. And of course, everything I say really is a suggestion. There are so many infinite possibilities of what this yoga practice looks like and feels like. So even though in this virtual space, I'm going to be demonstrating moving along with you, let this be a reminder that it's mostly about what it feels like, what makes sense and feels appropriate in your body. That's what you should be doing. So if it doesn't feel right and isn't possible for whatever reason, then breathing in and out through the nose would simply be the first suggestion you discard whether or not you're breathing through your nose, can you start to lengthen each inhale and each exhale? And sometimes it's nice to bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. As you start to notice the breath as it moves into the body, all the way down through the throat, the ribs and into the belly. And as you exhale, let the length continue. Breathing out just as steadily and long as you inhaled. Taking a few moments here just to feel this breath. Deepening, expanding. So that with every inhale, you fill the lungs to capacity. And with every exhale, you let go as much as you can. And the third part of the breath is to steady out, smooth out the breath. You could imagine that your breath were the waves on a calm sea. And if you notice that this is unnatural, then you become aware of why this practice can be so beneficial. It takes focus and concentration to breathe in this deep and steady way. Thereby, we have a tool to still the fluctuations of the mind, finding a little bit of peace, a little respite of stillness here in this moment. So if you do nothing else while we're together, but notice your breath moving deep and free, what a great gift you've given to yourself and to the world. And if at any time you notice that your mind wanders, it's an invitation to just notice and gently bring your awareness back to this deep, steady breath. And with that, we'll start to integrate the asana, the movement portion of the practice. And so if you aren't already lying on your back, you can start to make your way there. Staying with your deep, steady breath throughout this whole practice, especially through the transitions, remembering that the transitions are just as important as any arbitrary final posture we're making our way toward. And as you breathe, you can start to wiggle out your fingers and toes roll out the wrists and ankles. 
breathing in, beginning this practice of vinyasa, which quite literally translates to place in a sacred way or to place with intention. So you can think of the breath as being that intention as you breathe in, filling up with length and space. And as you exhale, allowing the breath to carry any lingering tension, any tightness, tenderness that you might feel physically, emotionally, and mentally. On your next inhale, reach your fingers and toes in opposite directions. Take a nice full body stretch. And as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest, rocking gently along the spine if that feels good. Notice your whole back body surrendering into the ground, softening the shoulders, the neck, even softening the jaw, the eyelids. And maybe you start to take the knees in little circles here, or maybe they're big circles, but if it feels good to move the hips around a little bit here. Again, just remembering that most importantly is how it feels in your body. So regardless of any suggestions and possibilities that I give, listen to what your body is asking for and see if you can respond appropriately, just moving in the ways that feel good to you as you stay with your deep and steady breath. On your next exhale, Set your feet down about hips width apart. If you have a block, this could be a nice place to bring it between the thighs. The sensation is that you actively press the thighs in towards one another, even though there's space between them. You could almost sweep your heels with your middle finger, coming into a dynamic bridge pose. As you inhale, lift your hips, your spine, one vertebrae up at a time coming towards the shoulders. And as you exhale, lower down one vertebrae at a time. We'll take five more rounds of that. And if you'd like, you could bring your hands into this, sweeping the arms up overhead as you lift your spine. As you exhale, lower down arms, spine, hips. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, lower down slow, just bringing some nice range of motion into the spine, building a little stability and strength through the body. Last time here, lengthening just to the degree that feels appropriate in your body, and exhaling to lower all the way down, remove any props, and let your feet come wide, knees drop together towards the center of the mat. You could sway the knees from side to side here, letting them both fall to the right and then to the left and maybe turn your gaze away from the direction of the falling knee. It's a nice way to release the low back, to find a little spinal twist. A couple more rounds of this. And then as you're ready, hug your knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, lift your chin and chest towards your knees. Take a deep breath in and exhale to lower down. Let's do that twice more. Breathe in on the earth. Exhale to lift. Exhale to lower. We call it Apanasana, wind relieving pose. Exhale, lift up, squeeze in, take a deep breath in and exhale to lower. Once more, take a nice full body stretch. Reach your fingers and toes, lengthen anything you'd like. 
And then as you're ready, start to make your way up to a seated position. If it feels good, you could roll vertically along your spine. Or maybe you'd prefer to just roll onto one side. But take your time, staying with your breath, moving with intention, staying in your vinyasa. And as you get to a seated position, it could be nice to bring a block or a blanket, a bolster, something underneath the sitting bones, elevating the hips slightly higher than the knees here. Finding Sukhasana, sweet seat, that easy seated pose. And it's nice to feel into the earth here. Notice the sitting bones rooted into the ground or whatever is beneath you. Notice the pelvic floor. You could rock it a little bit forward, side to side. Maybe sway the hips a little bit. Feeling into this sense of groundedness, finding strength from the base of your spine, and then start to pull the belly button in to engage the abdominals. Lift all the way up through the spine to the crown of your head. And from here, nice little shoulder rolls. Inhale the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, drop them down. Again, mostly it matters how this feels to you. So use your breath. Fill up with a little length and space. Exhale, see if you can let go any tension you might be feeling. And then maybe take those shoulder rolls the opposite direction. On a nice big inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, release. You could drop your palms facing upward onto the thighs. And then start to rock your neck here from side to side. Exhale, sweet chin across the chest and inhale the ear towards the shoulder. Continue to move with your breath. Nice and easy, nice and steadily. A couple more rounds here from side to side, just allowing yourself to give a little gratitude and compassion to this often very tender place in the body that holds so much of our attention. As you're ready, drop your chin down towards your chest. Bring your arms up, interlacing the fingers. Rest your palms gently on the top of your head. As you inhale, resist into your hands. As you exhale, release. Let's take that a couple more times. Inhale, resist into your hands. Exhale, release. Last time. Inhale, resist, and this time hold for a nice big breath in. And exhale, release. Drop the hands. Gently bring your head to center. Your eyes can be closed here and start to rub the palms together, creating some friction, a little warmth. And then as you're ready, lay your warm palms on top of your closed eyes. Taking a couple breaths here, just start to give yourself a nice little face massage. I know we're not supposed to touch our faces, but we're just gonna touch our faces now. And then we'll wash our hands and our yoga mats after our practice. But because we haven't touched our faces in so long, maybe they're extra tight and tense. So just allow yourself to be aware of all, all that happens when we deny ourselves this ability to give ourselves compassionate touch. And that might not be something that we're doing consciously throughout our lives, how much we do that takes away from the time we spend giving back to our precious body. 
tending to our well-being. So here is this opportunity to just really give a little sweetness. It might feel nice to roll along the jawline, the cheeks all the way up towards the ears, the back of the neck. And then as you're ready, again, rub your palms together, place them over the eyes. Take a deep breath in and start to gently open your eyes underneath your palms, just letting the light trickle in here. And we'll start to stretch the eyes. So look up, look right, look down, look left. With the eyes really wide, look up, look left. Look down and right. Keep going a couple more times. Up, right, down and left. Look up, look left, look down and right. And then look as wide as you can, opening your eyes straight ahead. Take a deep breath in. Maybe you even open your mouth, stick out your tongue, stretch your whole face. And then close your eyes. You could rub your palms together one more time. Maybe lay them gently on your face. Deep breath in and as you exhale, release your hands. From here, switch the crossing of the feet. So whatever foot tends to be on top, most of us tend to put one on top just instinctually. So we'll switch and settle back into the nice sweet seat, finding some comfort, some stability, groundedness as you lift up out through the crown of your head here. Inhale both arms to the sky. Exhale, drop your right hand, reach up and extend over. Inhale both arms up to the sky. Left hand drops, extend up and over. Let's take that once more on both sides. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, drop right hand, extend over. Inhale, bowl of arms reach. Exhale, extend over. Keep softening the neck, surrendering the jaw. Inhale, both arms reach up. And drop your hands to a T here. We'll take some little shoulder rolls as if you were creating tiny little tornadoes around you. You could start with really small circles and then maybe start to, to get a little larger here. All the meanwhile, breathing deep and free, pulling the belly button into the spine, lifting up through the crown. And then let's reverse the direction of those shoulder rolls. Again, you could start really small maybe building up the intensity, warming up the shoulder girdle here. And then as you're ready, big inhale, both arms reach, and exhale, drop your hands down. Just find a couple breaths here. Notice as we warm gently into the body, settle back into your deep, steady breath. And then bring your hands gently to your heart, taking Robin's breath pranayama. This practice is really nice to remind us to really settle into this ability to move with the breath, to let each breath guide our movement. So on an inhale, lengthen and lift up through the crown. As you exhale, hands stay together, press forward, Round the spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, open the arms like wings, expand the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, reach forward, round in, tuck your chin. Inhale, come up to seated, hands at heart center. Three more times, just moving with your breath. Exhale, round in, reach out. Inhale, open wide, lift the gaze and the heart. Exhale, reach forward, round in. Inhale to center. Twice more. And 
Last time, exhale, round and reach. Inhale, open and lift. Exhale, reach forward, tuck your chin. Inhale, back to center and take a few more breaths here. With the hands at the heart, it's a powerful reminder of gratitude. To give thanks for this new day, for your breath and your body, for your practice and your willingness, your commitment to whatever that intention is, whatever you're here to cultivate, whatever carries you through the difficult times. Let yourself be grateful. As you're ready, crawl gently forward, coming to hands and knees, tabletop position. If you have a hard floor, it could be nice to bring a blanket underneath you. And find some stability here. It's a really personal thing, but maybe the wrists stack below the shoulders, the knees below the hips. And again, you could take a couple moments here to find some movement. Maybe rocking the hips from side to side, moving through cat and cow, moving the spine in whatever little directions feel good. As you just notice what it feels like to be here on a new day in this body with everything that you're experiencing, all that's affecting and impacting how you feel. From here, pull your belly button into your spine, lengthen your crown and tailbone away from each other. This long neutral spine, activated core, decompression of the whole skeleton is what we're really looking for. Find a big breath in and as you exhale, step your left foot behind the right foot and really press your left foot flat into the floor. You could bump your right foot out for a little added stability. Press into your right hand and reach your left fingertips to the sky. Nice little uh, balance, stability, stretch here. And then if it feels good, you could open up your left shoulder with some circles. Continuing to breathe and soften through the face. On your next inhale, pull your left fingertips away from your strong left foot. Find as much length as you can. And then as you inhale, lift your left fingertips to the sky. You could even open the chest slightly. And if you're feeling precocious, you could lift your left foot up off the ground for a little added stability balance challenge. As you exhale, release your left hand down. Extend your left heel out behind you. Work to balance out the hips and extend your right fingertips forward if it's feeling okay to do so. Breathe nice and steadily here. Drop your chin so the neck stays long. One more big breath in. Exhale, drop your right hand and left knee. Maybe you take a couple rounds of cat and cow. And as you're ready, we'll switch. Step your right foot behind the left foot. Press firmly into your right foot as you flatten it onto the ground. And then pressing into your left hand, reach your right fingertips to the sky. Maybe you open up with some circles on this side. Find your breath. Soften through the face. On an inhale. Pull your right fingertips away from your strong right foot. Inhale the right fingertips open to the sky. Maybe lift your right heel a little high. And as you exhale, drop your right hand. Extend your right heel up and back. And if this is going well, extend your left fingertips forward. Breathe deeply. Drop the chin. Lengthen the neck. One more big breath in. Exhale, release. You could take a couple rounds of cat and cow, and as you're ready, let your knees come as wide as you'd like, surrendering down 
into child's pose. This is a place to remember. Remember the space between everything that happens to us in the way that we respond and that we have the ability to take a pause. That's really where our power lies and this posture is a nice representation of that pause. If at any time the practice is just a little too intense, you can drop the knees and just return to the breath. If it feels good, you can find a little movement here, swaying the hips from side to side, rolling the forehead out on the ground, Returning to the breath, returning to your intention. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, come on back to your tabletop position. And then just gently tuck your toes, lift your sitting bones, pressing into downward facing dog. And just notice how your downward facing dog feels today. It might be your first one, so allow yourself to Pedal through the calves, rock the hips a little, gently shake the head yes and no. Take any little movements that feel good here. Maybe today is the day that you skip downward facing dog or bring blocks into this. Just allow yourself to notice how you're feeling and to respond appropriately. From here, drop your right knee down and we'll bring the left foot between the hands, bringing the knee to stack over the ankle and you might even pull your right knee a little further back in space, coming into a low lunge. If you have blocks, this can be a nice place to bring your hands to blocks, maybe bring them up to the thigh or up to the sky. As you work to pull the right hip gently forward, settle into the left hip, thighs spiral in towards one another, pinkies pull back to open up the heart, soften through your neck and jaw, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, release your hands down, maybe to blocks, maybe to the floor, Start to straighten your left leg as you reach your hips back towards your right heel. You could walk your hands a little further forward to lengthen the spine a little more. And then start to move really easily, dynamically, forward and backwards. When you come forward, sometimes it feels nice to open up the left knee out to the side. Mostly stay with your breath. Inhaling, feeling all the places where you're feeling this, and exhaling to see if you can let go a little tightness, a little tenderness. And then work to keep a long neutral spine so that you keep finding some length and decompression of the skeleton. One more round here, forward and back. On your next inhale, come forward, bend deeply into your left knee. You could bring your right hand onto a block or onto the floor. Option to stay right here, or you could tuck your right toes and lift the knee up off the ground. And then maybe start to open up to the left, twisting your left arm to the small of the back or up to the sky. Keep hugging your left knee into the midline. Breathe in here. And exhale, release your left hand down and press your left foot back, coming into your downward facing dog. And take a couple breaths here. As you're ready, drop the left knee, bring the right foot forward between your hands. Take your time, stack the right knee above the ankle. Maybe even pull the left knee a little back in space. 
Inhale, coming to blocks or thigh or up to the sky. Pull that left hip forward. Sink into your right hip. Open up your heart, expand your chest. As you exhale, release your hands, straighten your right leg. The toes could come back towards the face. Walk the hands a little further forward, stretching out the spine. And then as you're ready, make it dynamic. Come forward, maybe even opening the right knee. Reach back, stay with your breath. Keep softening the space around your eyes, your forehead, the tongue in the back of the throat. On an inhale, come forward, bend deeply into the right knee. Bring the left hand down onto something and you could stay right here or you could tuck the left toes and lift the knee up off the ground. As you inhale, maybe you twist open, bringing the right hand to small back or up to the sky. Keep softening the face, hug the right knee into the midline. Exhale, release down, step back, downward facing dog. Take your time, move with your breath. On a big exhale, come out into plank pose. Reach your crown and heels away from one another and maybe you drop your knees. If that helps to feel stable, to stay with a deep, steady breath. Keep the elbows tucked in tight and on an exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Release the toes, soften the glutes and inhale, pressing into your hands, Pull your elbows together, open up your heart. We call it Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower chin touches earth. Let's take a few more. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, lower slow. Just moving with your breath, finding a nice sweet stretch tailbone to brainstem. Last time, nice cobra pose. Feel the belly button pull forward, driving gently into the palms, opening the heart. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes, knees down or not. Press to downward facing dog. And take a couple breaths here. Maybe find a little movement maybe a little stillness. As you're ready, bend deeply into your knee. Bring your gaze forward, followed by your feet, coming into forward fold. On an inhale, halfway lift, find a long neutral spine. And as you exhale, fold forward and find some surrender. Your feet could be as spread as you like them to be. Knees bent as deeply as feels good, maybe grabbing opposite elbows and swaying side to side. Notice if you can relax through the back of your neck, let your crown drop a little more towards the earth. It could feel nice to rock between the toes and the heels. On your next inhale, come up halfway, reach your crown and tailbone away from one another, pull your arms out like wings, and on a big inhale, come all the way to standing. Reach up and gaze up, and as you exhale, release your hands, finding mountain pose. And take a couple breaths here, just to notice how your mountain feels. So you could rock a little bit between toes and heels, maybe bend into the knees a little bit, sway the hips from side to side, just find some sweet movement. And then ground in. So notice the sensation of the feet connecting with the earth. Notice the stability 
with a little softness in the knees, the sensation that the thighs spiral in towards one another, a little shake of the pelvic floor and the hips until they feel stable. The belly button pulls into the spine. You could roll out the shoulders a couple times here and then drop them down the spine. Pinkies pull in to open up the heart. Maybe a couple more neck rolls. And then the chin drops slightly so that the neck stays long. The crown of the head lifts towards the sky. And all the meanwhile, you're breathing deep and free. What a wonderful gift to be able to stand tall, to breathe in the air, to feel the sunshine warm on the skin. Just notice this precious gift one that's quite easy to take for granted. It's pretty mundane. Maybe you even bring your hands to your heart. Again, affirming the commitment you make to tending to your well-being, your sense of presence, compassion, gratitude, sensitivity, making all of these things possible in the world. On a big breath in, reach up and gaze up. As you exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, find your long neutral spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift and reach your arms out like wings. Pull the belly button into the spine and on an inhale, rise all the way to standing. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Reach anything you can. Exhale, fold forward. Find a little surrender here, maybe swaying side to side. And on an inhale, lengthen and lift. Pull the arms out like wings. Big inhale carries you all the way to standing. Exhale, release your hands. Once more, finding mountain pose. And let's take a wide-legged stance. So step your feet open so that you're facing the long edge of the mat. And you could start just by letting your toes point forward, feet about parallel with one another. Bring your hands to your hips, lengthen and lift up towards the sky with a little bend in your knees. Exhale, hinge at your hips, folding forward. You could stay right here or if you'd like, as you exhale, bring your hands down, maybe towards a block, or the earth, or if you'd like, you could grab the outer edges of your legs and use them for leverage to pull yourself a little further down. Mostly breathe here deep and free. On an inhale, bring hands to hips, pull your crown and tailbone away from one another, and on an inhale, come all the way to stand. Now this time, Turn the left toes towards the top of the mat and then start to bend into your left knee, reaching your arms out like wings. You can adjust your stance as much as you need. We call it warrior two, fear of Adrasana. And from here, straighten your left leg, reach up, exhale, deepen in. We'll take that two more times, moving with your breath. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, deepen and find some softness here. We call it Virabhadrasana. Literally means graceful, skillful, and pleasant. So it's a strong posture, but maybe we can bring a little ease into it, softening the face, the shoulders. Sometimes it's nice to flip both palms to the sky, opening up the heart here. 
On an inhale, flip your left palm, reach up and back, exalted warrior. See if you could keep your deep bend through your left knee. Inhale, come back up, reach your left fingertips far forward and drop the left hand down. Maybe the elbow comes towards the thigh as the right fingertips reach up and over. We call it extended side angle. You could stay right here. You could drop your left hand down. Some people even like to take a little bind here. But it's all a matter of personal preference. Wherever you are, take a deep breath in. Let out a full exhale. Inhale, use the strength of that right arm and the thighs pulling in towards one another to rise all the way up. Reach up and gaze up with straight left leg. Exhale, hands come to a T and reach the left fingertips far forward. Drop them down towards the ankle as you extend your right fingertips to the sky. Trikonasana, triangle pose. It's a nice place, maybe for a block, using your left hand to create a little leverage to open your right chest to the sky. Big inhale, pull yourself all the way up to standing. Reach both toes towards the front wall. Exhale, hinge at your hips. Forward fold. Lengthen your crown and tailbone away from one another. You could stay right here, bending the little knee, the knees a little bit. Maybe you fold forward. On an inhale, lift up, lengthen crown and tailbone, and come all the way to standing. This time, turn the right toes out, finding your warrior two on this side. And then as you're ready, inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, deepen in. A few more times. And this time, really sink into that right knee. Open up the heart, maybe flip the palms, soften the gaze. The gaze is soft and steady over the right middle finger. Inhale, flip your right palm, reach up and back. Inhale, rise, extended side angle, pull your right fingertips forward. Reach the left fingertips maybe up to the sky or overhead. Soften the face. Keep your right knee active here. Inhale, come back up, rise all the way up. Reach the right fingertips far forward and hinge at your hips. Triangle pose, Trikonasana. Again, keep that strength through both feet, thighs spiraling in towards one another, and you could use your right hand to open up the left chest a little more. One more big breath in carries you all the way to standing. Toes come forward. Bring your hands to your hips and maybe heel toe in a little bit so that the toes can point out, start to Drop the knees down and see if you can keep that length through the pelvic floor. And from here, we'll just start to drop one shoulder in at a time. So right shoulder drops in and then left shoulder. And if it feels good, you could turn the gaze up with that twist. Inhale, come back to center with that deep lunge. As you inhale, lengthen everything, lifting into five point star. Exhale, deepen into your goddess squat. We'll take a couple more rounds of this, just moving with your breath, finding that stability and strength. And give yourself the freedom to move fluidly to do what makes sense and feels good here like this. We're just a really personal dance. <sighs> One 
last time exhale lower into your squat take a deep breath in and let out a full exhale inhale come all the way up to stand release your hands and come back to the top of your mat Take a deep breath in, lengthen and lift, and as you exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. On an inhale, roll one vertebrae at a time, coming up to stand. Head comes up last, soften the shoulders. Relax the jaw, the eyes. Take a couple breaths here. On a big breath out, step your left foot back far. Coming into a warrior one posture. So you could widen your stance so that you feel the left hip pull forward, the right hip drop back. And as you exhale, bend the right knee deeply. Maybe the hands lift up towards the skies, pinkies pull in here. Notice both feet actively pressing into the ground, thighs pulling in towards one another. As you inhale, straighten your right leg. As you exhale, hinge at your hips, folding over that extended leg. Keep lengthening out through your crown here. If you'd like, put a little bend in your right knee and maybe surrender your forehead. We call it Pyramid Pose Parjvottanasana. On a big breath in with the strength of the thighs, pulling in, rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, bend your right knee. You could cactus out the arms here. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, extend over your right leg, Pyramid Pose. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, bend your right knee. Last time, inhale, lengthen everything. Exhale, hinge over right leg. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Bend your right knee. And here's a nice place to maybe have a block or something, maybe even just a wall, something to give you some stability as you start to lift your left leg up off the ground. We call it warrior three and it really doesn't matter how high you lift your left leg. Even if you're not tilting forward at all and you're just working with balance, it's all good. Mostly just breathe, working on wherever you are to stay calm and focused, to soften your face. One more big breath in here. And then drop your hands towards the ground or a block, but keep your left leg lifting. Again, it doesn't matter how high. See if you can really relax your neck, your forehead. And then bring your left foot to meet your right foot in forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. On an inhale, come all the way up to stand. Nice and slow, belly button pulled to spine. And from here, just pull your right knee in towards your hands. The knee coming up about hips height, but it doesn't matter how high. Just see if you can stay right here and roll out the ankle, whether your hands are on your knees or not. And you could stay right here, or you could take your left hand to the outer edge of your right thigh and reach your right fingertips back. Mostly breathe. Don't worry about falling. Worry about breathing. Having some calm and compassionate inner dialogue here. On an inhale, come back to center, reach both hands high, maybe even extend your right foot forward. And as you exhale, release your right foot to meet your left. Take a deep breath in, lift your arms to the sky, and as you exhale, 
squat down into a little chair pose. Lengthen your fingers away from your tailbone. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, come on to your toes. You could even sweep your arms back. Exhale, drop your heels. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, release your hands. This time, step your right foot far back. Find a nice wide stance so that the right hip can pull forward. The left hip settles down and drop the left knee over the ankle. Inhale, lengthening out through your crown, maybe arms lift to the sky. Take a deep breath in and straighten your left leg as you exhale, hinge over. Pyramid pose. Thighs pull in towards one another. Feet are firmly grounded. You could put a little bend in your left knee and drop your head towards the earth. With the strength of the feet, the thighs, and the belly, rise all the way up to standing, reach up, and as you exhale, bend into your left knee, maybe cactus out the arms. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, extend out, Parjvatanasana. Inhale, reach up and rise up, exhale, deepen in, last time in, Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, extend over. Inhale, rise all the way up. Bend your left knee. Maybe you bring a block in. As you put a little pressure in your left foot, bring the weight into your left knee and just flirt with lifting your right leg up off the ground. Hinging at your hips to whatever degree is appropriate, mostly breathing freely here. Remember, falling is the best thing that could happen to us because it gives us the opportunity to go through difficult things calm. Exhale, both hands to the ground. Notice right leg still lifting. Relax your jaw, relax your neck, release your right foot down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. On an inhale, pull the arms out like wings. Pull your crown and tailbone away from one another. Come all the way up to stand. Exhale, release your hands down. Hug your left knee in towards your chest. Roll out your ankle. And maybe you stay right here, or maybe you grab onto the outer edge of left thigh, reach right fingertips back, and just notice your breath is still spilling deep and free. Even if you're at home saying, no, Molly Joe, I don't wanna do this. Just stay with your breath. <laughs> when you're ready, come back to center. Reach your hands up, maybe extend your left foot forward. Exhale, drop it all down. Have a breath here. <sighs> Inhale, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, drop down Utkatasana. Fierce and awkward pose, otherwise known as chair pose. Reach fingers and tailbone away from one another. Big breath in, exhale, come on to toes. Maybe arms sweep back, lengthen anything you can. Exhale, drop your heels, inhale, rise to the sky. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, gently, gently step back into your downward facing dog. Here is your last downward facing dog, so. Get it while you can. If you'd like, exhale, extend forward into the plank pose. Lower to your belly. Inhale, nice, easy cobra. One more cobra, just for good measure. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, lower down. And this time we'll all meet in child's pose. 
Hmm. Return to your breath. Notice where your mind is and jaw it gently back if it's wandered off into some distant land. And then as you're ready, come gently up to your hands and knees and tuck your toes so that when you sit back, you come on to your heels. And if this is excruciatingly uncomfortable, just use your hands to support you easing off. But we'll stay for five breaths, whether you're moving dynamically forward and backward or just sitting still. Allow yourself to breathe, to give thanks for the feet, the toes. And then as you're ready, come forward onto your hands and knees. Cross your legs deeply behind you. Come all the way on to your bottom and hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. Make sure that it's safe to do so as you come all the way down onto your back. If you really like that sensation of rolling along the spine, you can do that a couple times on your way down. And as you're ready, drop your left foot, bring your right leg over top. Coming into figure four, this is a great place to have a belt or a strap. If it's not comfortable, if what we want to do is wrap the hands around the back of the left thigh. Some people grab onto uh, um, in front of the left calf here, but the sensation is that the right knee presses away from the body, the left thigh pulls back, both feet stay active, and the back is resting on the ground. So there's a lot of surrender happening here as we stretch into the biggest place in the body. So if the back isn't fully resting on the ground, it's a great place to bring in a strap where the hands are so that you can let your whole back body surrender here. And if you're not feeling a stretch from this, you can simply grab onto your right foot and pull it into your chest and let your left leg extend out long. Same thing, keep the back body surrendering into the ground and wherever you are, breathe deep in three. With every inhale, fill up, sending nourishment, compassion to the places where you're feeling this. Use your exhale to let go. Staying with your vinyasa, this sacred, intentional movement. Take a deep breath in and let out a full exhale. Gently release the left leg. You could let both feet kind of rock out a little bit from side to side or take a little calibrating movement. And then when you're ready, right foot drops onto the earth, left foot comes up and over, reaching behind the right thigh or in front of the right calf. Both feet stay active, left knee presses away from the body, pull the right thigh a little closer and surrender your whole neck spine, shoulders, even relaxing your eyes and your jaw, settling into your breath, allowing your deep steady breath to increase the benefits of this posture. Take a deep breath in. Let out a full exhale. 
release your right foot to your left leg. You could bring your feet wide and let the knees rock a little from side to side here. And then we'll take an inversion, an inversion of your choice. And as we start to really wind down here, if you have the luxury of a wall or a bed or a chair or something, you could bring your feet up for legs up the wall, legs up the whatever it is that you have access to. Of course, you're welcome to take any sort of shoulder stand or whatever inversion is most comfortable for you, even just a supported bridge pose, something to get the hips elevated above the heart. And if it's feeling appropriate for you to really get the feet elevated, as we just allow gravity's incessant pull on our body to reverse only for a few moments. Shoulder stand, Shirshasana, translates to the queen of all postures. So whatever variation of shoulder stand or inversion we're doing, it's a reminder that this posture is traditionally held longer than any of the other postures because it's such an important movement. Just to recirculate the blood through the body. To give ourselves a little break here. Staying with your breath, spilling deep and free. Take a deep breath in through the nose and let out a big exhale. <sighs> now, if your legs are on the wall or something else, you could stay where you are as we shift into supine spinal twists. So to do that, you could simply walk your feet down the wall so that your knees are bent and then drop both knees over to the right side. But take whatever variation of supine spinal twist you'd like. Drop the left shoulder a little low, maybe turn the gaze away from the direction of the falling knee. Breathing in to this, one of the sweetest movements in all the asanas. Just a little massage for the whole spine. Take a deep breath in, let out a full exhale. Bring your gaze to the sky, followed by your knees, hugging them into your chest. Take your time as you drop them over to the other side. This time right shoulder drops a little low and maybe turn the gaze out toward it. Settle back into your deep, steady breath. Take a deep breath in, let out a full exhale, bring your gaze to the sky, followed by your knees, hug them into your chest, and then squeeze everything in, squeeze your knees, your toes, your forehead, squeeze your fingers, squeeze your Kegel muscles, squeeze everything, and then as you're ready, exhale letting everything go. So if you are with your legs against a wall, you could certainly take a full legs up the wall Shavasana, but just allow yourself to take whatever final resting pose is the most comfortable for you. Adding any layers, using any props to support you. Remembering that this is the most important 
of all the asanas, it's the opportunity to allow the breath to settle as you allow the body and the mind to absorb the benefits of your practice. So there's no need to control anything here. If you do feel your mind wander, you can simply bring your awareness back to your breath or to any of the myriad of sensations that you're feeling here. a deep breath in and let out a full exhale. Know that even though our practice together is officially over, that doesn't mean you need to leave. If you can stay in your Shavasana meditation, allow yourself this opportunity to really stay. And if not, simply know that I'm so grateful to each of you for taking the time to practice. I truly believe that as we work to cultivate these qualities of peace and compassion and presence in our own lives, that we make them possible in the world. 
Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavanti. May all beings everywhere be blessed with happiness, health, and freedom. And may the thoughts, words, and deeds of my own life contribute to that happiness, health, and freedom. I bow to the divinity in each of you. Namaste.